Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. Alright, so let's see. Libra. Alright, let's see what messages do we have for you for the month of May. Hold on for a minute. <laughs> So let's see what messages we got for Libra for May. <clears throat> I'm not taking reversals in the oracles, so you will see me flip them up. Okay. All right, so we have awareness. We have mental conflict. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put these right back because these are the same identical cards that came out in my Aquarius reading. So, I need to shuffle them in. But, <clears throat> with the prosperity begins. We'll take that, right? Okay. Any more messages for Libra for the month of May? Okay. I ain't gonna trip. I got carpal tunnel, so sometimes my shuffling can be a little off, but we'll see. Hopefully, you don't have nothing messy going on. Any messages for Libra in May? <clears throat> mm -hmm. oh, messages for Libra. <sighs> messages for Libra in May. All right, Libra. Okay, so you have love begins. You also have obstacles and challenges here. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, you have power. Why is this here for you? All right, there's some changes coming for you here with these obstacles and challenges. And this is crazy because partnership and alliances are still at the bottom of the deck. So... partnering with someone here or there might be challenges for something to come together or in May here there's some changes coming along here but you got a new beginning happening here all right so number five changes awareness is coming out for you again that was actually your cards so you got some prosperity beginning you got new beginnings coming for you okay a new way of thinking here as well. Source might be dropping some downloads on you here. All right. So you got some clarity about a situation. Balance is being restored. But there's something here that you are suffering in silence about. A lot of accelerated motion. Forward movement. What is this about? Okay. Okay. So Libra... <clears throat> someone here may have gone through a dark situation. This could have been a love situation where there was a lot of obstacles, challenges, and things like that. However, I think this connection here may have, um, you may have done some shadow work here. I don't know. But there's some type of significant changes here that took place within you uh, because of this situation, okay? Um I don't know. Maybe it had you look at what you want differently, what you want your life to look like differently. All right. So you got a new beginning happening here. All right. In love or just new opportunities coming for you, new partnerships, new uh, new circle here. Some of you actually may be rekindling something with someone from your past, 
where there was a big divide, some challenges here. Maybe you and this person have spent some years apart or something like that. And maybe you are, um, you've learned, you've grown since the last time you connected, okay? Also, maybe have strengthened your bonds with Source here as well. All right, seeing things more, uh, seeing life in your connection with more purpose here. All right, so even though you may be rekindling with someone here from your past, this is a brand new beginning here, okay? So Because both of you guys are pouring into the same cup where it may have been a bit one-sided here, okay? That's for someone. All right, so let's see. Balance is being restored here in your life here. Let's see. Ooh, somebody's coming. Mm, silently going through something. Let's see. Give me messages, please. All right, so there might be a financial situation. Here are some changes in your finances. All right, so pay attention to your, your money that's going out, okay? There may be a need to save here. All right, there is some type of truth and clarity that's coming in here also with balance. Firm foundation. I think things are going to be settling down for you. A lot of spiritual growth, spiritual strength is happening here, okay? So a lot of you are might be going through a tower moment right now or just recently went through a tower moment here and someone here has been connecting more with source also coming to some type of realization about their current situation not only this this connection but life as a whole this is life when kind of deep. All right, let's see. Somebody is looking at things from a different perspective, okay? A change of view, perception. Okay, spiritual growth happening here. All right. Okay. Any messages for... Okay, obstacles and challenges. Yes, look, I'm telling you, somebody here was having a, co a connection issue with their person. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so like I said, I think you and someone else are coming into some type of agreement to get across these or get through these challenges here. All right, new vitality. Someone is stepping into a new phase with someone else, letting bygones be bygones, the past, giving and receiving equal give and take. I like it. All right, give me one for love begins for Libra, please, and thank you. Take the lead. Okay, somebody is ready to take, you know, take steps. <laughs> Emperor status. Okay, I like it. Someone here has grown, elevated. Okay, time's up. Look at that. Time's up. Share the love. Okay, someone here might have been a little bit cold, withdrawn. All right, not willing to really give to the situation, just open to receiving. Someone here may have went through some life challenges, especially without this person, if there was a separation here. And they've learned some things here. So it's dropped some knowledge on someone here. Seeing things clearly, accepting the truth. Hmm. All right, I see you. Someone possibly had some scars from uh, past relationships here, especially if it was this connection here, or it could have been a previous connection, but someone here is learning how to heal their heart, learning how to be open, vulnerable, learning how to lead. This could be definitely be a masculine energy here. Let's see. Give me one for awareness. Strengthening bonds, giving and receiving. Look at that nurture. All right, so nurturing this connection as well. Learning how to give equally. Look at that. Strengthening bonds, starting over. Seeing this connection for what it is. Absolutely new vitality here. Mm -hmm. Letting go of the past. Somebody is about to reunite with someone. This could be a husband and wife that was on the outs here or whatever. Someone was taking the relationship for granted. Somebody was refusing to 
see their behavior, how it was affecting this relationship, okay? So someone here was hurt from their past, hopeless and helpless. All right, so look, someone here might be going through some type of financial um, difficulties here. All right, there's a need to find some type of balance here. You need to look at your expenses. Where's your money going here, sweetheart? How can you save some pentacles? All right. I just heard double time. So some of you might have to put in some extra effort, some extra hours. If not, find a side hustle, side groove that you can do. Let's see. Make a dedicated effort. Absolutely. Some of you um, really need to tap into your gifts, your talents. You understand uh, the things that you take for granted. You might be able to sing, play instruments um some of you could learn how to teach others to do this and make money at it you understand so you need to really tap into your resources what's available to you all right and no pity parties here no feeling you know hopeless and helpless there's always hope sweetheart all you got to do is just pray about it believe it as well sow some seeds Figure out what you can do on your own. Let God do the rest, okay? And don't hold on to things that source is trying to get you to let go of. I'm telling you that right now. It's not failure. It's not defeat. It's a fresh start. Sometimes source will wipe your slate clean, all right, so that you can rebuild, all right, on firm foundation. So let's see. And also, um, watch your integrity here as well. Be good to people, okay? Um, be mindful of that because you reap what you sow, okay? So sow good seeds so things can come to you, all right? But there's a need to find balance, especially in your expenditures and things like that, all right? So let's see, spiritual strength, nurture. It's time to nurture this connection, nurture your connection with source as well. Let go of old rigid ways. Be willing to open, all right? Be willing to forgive the past and step into your new uh, new um, way of being here. All right? Absolutely. Master your emotions as well. All right. So let's see. That went way deep. All right. So let's see. I hope this resonates with someone. All right. So we got, I don't want to spend all day. All right, so someone here has some hard work ahead. I told you somebody is reconciling with someone from their past, okay? All right, so the most difficult part of a situation is over. So you and this person may have talked already, kind of figured out, okay, you know what? I love you. You love me. <laughs> All right, so we're a happy family. But anyway, somebody is like, you know what? Okay, we got on this plane. We're willing to put this, you know, get this back together. Everything is cool now, but this is going to be a lot of hard work. Absolutely. But it's going to be very exciting. I think it's going to be very rewarding for you as well. And I think you're going to be very happy in this new beginning. All right, yes. And be aware of self-delusions here, okay? Um yeah, we want to be, you know, keep it 100 with ourselves as well. You know, our faults, <laughs> you know, the good, the bad, the ugly and everything in between. It is what it is. OK, so let's see. You know, what? let me have two more, please. And thank you. So, yeah, this is really nice. Someone here is stepping up. Let's let's do this. OK, the sincere wish will be granted. So this is definitely coming together for someone here. All right. Birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. Look at that. Fire, crack, good, come dance for me. Look at that. Um, guaranteed success. All right. So look, be careful if y'all don't want no babies, right? Because, yeah, it might be on and cracking. I'm just saying you might find yourself uh, out of pappy. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? All right. Let's see. Give me one more for over here. All right, so a long journey will either lead, I'm sorry, will either physically or mentally leave you wiser at the end. So, like I said earlier, um, someone here, you guys may have taken a break um, from each other. Could have been separated for years. 
Okay, and all of a sudden, you know, someone's like, there's no place like home. Click them heels, ready to go back, Dorothy. Okay, I'm just saying. Somebody realizes that, you know what, this person has always been for me. Um, I wasn't, you know, showing up in the situation like I could. Maybe this person wasn't showing up like they could. And you know what, it's, it's rough out here in these dating streets, trust me when I tell you that. So, um, yeah, somebody's like, you know what, let me go back home where it's safe, where I'm loved. Uh, yeah, I'm protected here. And let me actually give my person what, you know, they deserve here as well. Okay. So yeah, this, uh, separation or whatever happened here has definitely had somebody really reevaluate the connection. Okay. All right. So let's see. You know what I want to do a little bit different, get some other cards here, but let's see. Get some, not these, let's see. Mm, where are you? These, all right, so give me some messages from, well, from whoever about this situation for Libra. All right, so you guys take this message, how it resonates. I don't know who it's from, if it's from you to your person or vice versa. But we're just going to check out some things here. Give me some messages about the situation. Can I get two? This person says, I settled for second best because I don't deserve you. Okay, so somebody might have dipped out on this relationship because they felt like they couldn't meet your standards or whatever. I don't know. All right, it says, my heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. Absolutely, okay? It's rough out here, okay? Somebody knows where uh, home is as far as their heart is concerned. This is your probably where they felt safest or vice versa. Being apart has been, been more difficult than I'd like to accept. Being away from you hurts like hell. I didn't realize it would be this difficult. Wow. Okay, so whoever this is, Libra, it might be you, it might be a person, but whoever um, has been possibly the person that was not really committal in this relationship, Whoever this is, this person has been literally hurting. They probably have not allowed anyone to get close to their heart. They probably haven't been able to, you know? So, yeah, somebody's like, you know what? I'm I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. You know, I, I, I want value, not quantity. All right, give me messages. Okay. You're beautiful exactly the way you are, okay? Flaws and all, I love it. Thank you for always being honest with me. Even when I don't want to hear it, I know you want to help me grow. So, yeah, we had somebody that was a little stubborn, had a lot of ego going on, you know, wanted things their way and just, you know, it is what it is. So, okay, you possibly went your own way. Want to get matching tattoos? Oh, so somebody, somebody's ready to, hey, this is mine. I got my name on it. I licked it. <laughs> it's mine. Okay, there's that. All right, my coworker says that. It's mine. I licked it already. Anyway, it says I'm clear about what I want with you. So, yeah, somebody knows, okay? They know. They know or you know. I don't know, but it kind of seems like, you know, your person is ready to come back home and make it do what it do, baby, okay? All right, let's get some messages from the tarot, and then let me get up out of here. Give me messages about this situation. Three of Pentacles, this person wants to work together. Somebody is ready to take the lead here. Heavily attracted to you. This person does know it's going to take a lot of work here, but they know where their happiness is. Absolutely. Somebody got a clue. Libra issue. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, somebody is, whoo, honey, let me tell you, baby, somebody got the hots for you, okay? Oh, yes. All right, so this is a little rated X. Somebody might like to be dominated here. <laughs> somebody might be a little dominatrix. I'm just saying. I don't know, a little vixen. 
But uh, yeah, somebody uh, is ready to come back home, like I said. They want the full commitment, the marriage. You are their person. This could, like I said, could have been a married couple that was in a separation here. Okay, but I'm getting for years. Somebody's trying to make a decision here. Successful outcome, ready to tell the truth. Look, this person may even have dated around or whatever. This person is ready to come clean. Look, Tom, Dick, and Harry did not compare. Megan and whoever her name is and Felicia and all them. No, they were not it. Let's talk about this. Mm. We need to talk about this because I got some feelings up in here that, yeah, we need to kind of get on the table. Mm -hmm. I didn't like what was out there. Have you seen what's out there? Oh, my God, Lord. I'm, yeah, can, can I come home? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, I can't make it up. Can I come home? <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Let's, let's, let's see. Somebody's coming in. They're talking. Mm-hmm. It's a jungle out there. Yes. Okay. This is telling you to use your intuition, honey. All right. Use your intuition. The truth is coming in here, but use your discernment. All right. Yeah. I see that, you know, there's a lot of decisions that were made in the past. A lot of regret here. And I see one of the things that somebody is fearing here that they may make a mistake again by allowing this to open, this door to open back up. Okay, so give me messages. There's some concern here, but yeah, somebody wants their family back and they're determined to get it. What? Obsessed with it. Yes, absolutely. Hmm. What is it? What you want me to do? I know who you are. This is wifey. This is husband. This is my stability lies here. We were only on a break. I had no plans on giving you up. What? I'm just saying. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know. But Libra, I feel the urgency here. Somebody is trying to drag you back home. Are you trying to go back home? Look at that. All right, all right, all right. Uh, yep, look. Knight of Wands, clarifying the Knight of Wands. Somebody ain't playing. This person's lit, ready to come and get you. Look, let's work it out. You compliment me, I compliment you. Look, I done went up A through Z about the pros and cons, and we are the pros. You understand? There, There's only so many cons. If both of us put to, uh, forth effort, work on this situation, man, there's nothing we can't accomplish. Look at that. Bliss. Okay. Okay, somebody's like, I took it for granted, all right? I know I was indecisive. I may have, you know, walked away for the fun life or whatever, the player life, and I'm ready to give that up. Felicia, Bob, Harry, uh, uh, Tiny, and, and Keisha, and all them, whoever this is, they got to go. They kick rocks. Uh, yeah, I know where my heart is. Mm -hmm. This has been weighing on somebody's heart for a minute. The thing is, is that I think um, ego may have gotten in somebody's way. This person has been wanting to tell their ex-person that they've been wanting to come back to them for a minute, but they haven't. They haven't. They've been wanting to, to, to move this into common waters. And for someone here, someone here may have hit their rock bottom. All right. Soros might be allowing everything to crumble as well. Take your behind home. Enough is enough. Let's see. This person, I'm telling you, this person is going through some type of financial issues. And this is clarifying material changes here. Hope, helpless and hopeless. Look at this. And this person's pride and ego would not allow them to say anything, won't allow them to ask for help or admit that they have such a thing going on. Go home. Let's see. Boy, somebody's going to be mad at me, but yep. They're reuniting here. Look at that. There's communication coming through. Come home. Come home. Let's try this. 
let's try this. Mm. You love me, I love you, and let's try this. Let's heal this connection. Both of y'all feeling some type of way about this situation. The trust is a problem. The trust is a problem with one person. Absolutely. Can I trust this? Are you going to break my heart again? Somebody here could have been in competition. There could have been competition. Could have been other people. Lying, cheating here. Somebody wasn't giving equally to this connection. Somebody was sneaky as hell. Multiple people. Lies. Somebody is afraid to open the door, but somebody also is afraid to lose this connection here. Look at that. Look at that. Afraid that they're going to lose the connection. Let's see. Give me messages. Somebody's afraid to be vulnerable as well. All right. Somebody here is materialistic. They like the, uh, the finer things in life. Okay. Look at this. Someone also, um, someone here, I won't say fame hungry, but they like to be well known or, or they got the peacock syndrome. Okay. They like to be seen and around a lot of people showboating and things like that. You know, the life of the party and things like that. Their person. Okay. So in other words, they might be very extroverted. Okay. But on extras. Okay. Um, their person might be introverted, you know, and in order to, there's going to have to be a compromise in that situation, period. This, whoever this person is that does a peacock and this person does it because they have little uh, self-esteem. It, it feels like they do. They seem like they would, but this person has been hurt in the past here. So they have some wounds here that they mask by a huge maybe sometimes overbearing ego i don't know personality here but you two may be a bit opposite of each other and that may have caused a rift because someone here wants to be out there you know nice cars fancy things boats yachts whatever it is and the other person's like you know what i'm just really chill we you know doing pretty good financially the family is stable i'm loving on you you love it on me we taking many vacations or whatever the house is good why are you tripping I'm not impressed by other people, you know, but someone here is totally the opposite. It's like their ego needs to be fed here for whatever reason. They like a lot of attention, but it looks like someone is coming to grips with that and realizing that that type of behavior is not going to, it's not befitting in a marriage here. Okay. And whoever this person is, either it's you or your person, the opposite person realizes that you know what? I have a catch on my hands. I have a real husband or a real wife here. And somebody is going to snatch that up because there's not a lot of genuine people out here and they're hard to come by. You understand that person that is husband material or wife material, you don't run across that every day. You got thought material and F boy material out here. You understand a lot of it and it's running rampant. So somebody realized that, oh, snap. I better snap out of this BS before I finally lose my person for good, okay? So there's that. Either way, I'm going to get out of here. I didn't mean to make this so long, but I hope somebody can take something from this. If you are reconciling with someone here, sweetheart, um, please be open and honest with this person. Give effort towards this connection. You understand what I'm saying? I would hate to see this... Um, you guys to come back together, which what seems like a very beautiful connection and something that is meant to be. I would hate to see this go down the tubes just because someone here is focusing on self-sabotaging the connection because they have some wounds they haven't healed. Okay. All right, my love, if you would, please hit the like button for your girl. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll holler at y'all later. Bye.